Welcome to Joe DiMatteo's Medicine Shop, Compounding and Integrative Wellness Center. I thought it'd be nice to spend some time and see what gets done up here at the Integrative Wellness Center. I'd like to introduce you to Diane Silverman, Jen, Jennifer Jordan. Diane, tell us a little bit about what you do here at the Integrative Wellness Center. Hi, I'm one of the pharmacists here at the Medicine Shop and the Integrative Wellness Center. I also oversee the lasers, which we are so proud to have here in the Pharmacy and Wellness Center. Um, what you might wonder, how did we get a laser here in the in in the pharmacy and wellness center? And from now on, we'll just say the wellness center because that's really what the lasers fall under. Patients come in to see Joe DiMatteo, Joyce Gibb um, for consultations for um, hormone replacement, um, and some of the, these patients also have excess hair growth on their face as a result of polycystic ovary disease, um, excess testosterone, excess hormone imbalance, um, and you can offer services to help them um, pharmaceutically um, with bioidentical hormone replacement, but it sort of was like these people have hair where it shouldn't be. What what can we do? And and we were referring them places when we felt that we could treat the patient inside and out here at the Integrative Wellness Center. And that's how we have a laser, have two lasers here, and that's how we're fortunate enough to have Jen Jordan with us, who brings her skill sets that I'll let her tell you about. Yeah, Jen, hang on for one second here. Diane, when you're talking about the inside out, tell me a little bit about, it's some people just choose to treat the problem, other ones want to maybe get into understanding why they have the problem. Right. So patients can go to any to can go to somewhere to have laser hair removal, um, but you want to know some of the patients say just remove it. I don't care what's causing it, and that patient should have their wishes. But you can remove it, and if you have an underlying problem causing it, that hair is going to grow back. With the best lasers available, um, if you're having um, part of your chemical makeup causing that hair to grow, you will have regrowth unless you treat the, the problem. So there's two facets here, one being what, what I call luxury hair removal, where it is a luxury and you do it, people wax, um, total up the amount of waxing that you do in a given season, you have the hair removal done, it's um, with a laser, you'll be at, at a similar if not a lower dollar value in the end um, and probably a, a less time consumption as well and I don't want to you know speak too much about that because I'll let Jen uh, yeah, talk about perfect, that. perfect segue into Jen. Tell me, you've been doing this a long, a long time. I've been doing this for yeah. a few years, yes. And you like watching the, the way the lasers have come around. I do. It's, yeah, the technology has definitely improved um, and it is interesting to see how it can help once we, you know, as Diane was saying, figure out what the underlying problem is, take care of that, have people come in, and it's, you know, brings a whole new, you know. So it's it's good because you're covering life. if there is an underlying problem, but you're mm -hmm. also covering it for the the mm -hmm. people that just, hey, right. I don't want to shave my legs, I don't right. want to shave my arms. Right. So I know you have two different lasers here. Could you explain a little bit about the lasers? Sure. We have the Candela which is wonderful for hair removal. That's a 755 wavelength. It um, focuses mainly on hair and pigmented lesions or um, hyperpigmentation, sun damage, things like that. Uh, so it can take care of more than one issue. And then we have, I'm, That's here, like I'm gonna introduce the laser back here, <laughs> the Cyton, <laughs> which we use as a BBL, which is great. And that takes care of, it does do hair removal, but it also treats vascularity, uh, rosacea. So you'll hit the, the reds and the browns in the skin versus just the pigmentation or the browns in the skin. And how soon do you start to see results from that? You'll see a change initially, but as in um, hair removal or uh, photo rejuvenation. You need some time, whether it's two weeks out or three weeks out, four weeks, six weeks, depending on where on the body we're dealing. Uh, 
you would have to do something in a series. So if it's hair removal, you'll see an initial reduction, but we want to find those hairs when they're in the antigen stage, which they're being fed by the blood and they really seize them and disrupts everything and totally um, knocks that out. It's the cycle you want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if we wanted to get the process started coming into the Integrative Wellness Center, what would we do? I think the first thing that will happen is a patient will call and they'll leave a message on our um, voicemail because the technician um, will probably be doing another procedure, especially during you know business hours or in the evening. They'll leave a message and then Jen will call them back and set it up for a time fielding a few of their questions first. Um, mostly people want to know, can it be done and how much is it going to be? And that's such an ambiguous question, but people need to know that they can afford to come in. So we give them ranges, um, what we call per area per treatment, and there's ranges set so that you know that the first thing that has to be done is a consultation. Because without that, then Jen can say, first of all, you are a candidate, you are not a candidate, um, and that you, you know, how much will it be has to be on an individual's basis, which she can determine once looking at the patient. Um, so I think that the a appointment is scheduled, and then Jen, take it from there. They then once they're come in. coming to see you, Jen. Right. What's all involved? Well, they it, like she or like Diane said, it starts with a question and some interest. And people will come in. I normally go over if they have any questions. If there's anything, a lot of times there's myths involved, and so we like to answer any of those questions first. We have them fill out a thorough medical history. There are some contraindications or issues that will come up which will stop them from having it done. There are very few. Uh, and then they will fill out their questionnaire or their medical history. I'll take a look at it. We can sit down and then we'll have a thorough consultation on where they're at. Honestly, even if they're going to be traveling, are they going to be in the sun? Will they, you know, were they just times, in the sun? Right. right. So there's right. a lot that goes into it. You just want to make sure that they're going to be at a safe place for us to do the best job that we can. So let's talk a little bit about FAQs. So tell me, is everything treatable? Whether I'm out in the sun, whether I'm not in the sun, I want to get some hair done, maybe look at a couple spots on, maybe the face, the hands, decolletage area, tell me about it. Well, there are some indicators that are going to stop us from moving forward. Uh, there's times a year that are better to address certain issues and when it comes to hair removal, if you are actively tanning, uh, we don't want to see you for two weeks. You know, we want you to be two weeks not tanning, not using a tanning bed. Please don't use any self-tanner. I don't want any bronzer, nothing. It's just amazing what the lasers, with this technology, what they can see. They'll see pigment in the skin, whether it's natural or artificial. So we want you not in the sun, and we want you um, not actively tanning. I know you've been asked this before. Yes. Does it hurt? Um, there is a little bit of a, um, I would say a hot rubber band snap. That's, I always, that's do. What I I always hear. use that rubber band. That's snap. what I hear from people and there's a little heat there. So the wonderful thing about the candela, which is what we mainly use for hair removal, is it has a cryogen shot. So at the same time that the laser is firing, it's firing, it also fires a very, very cold shot. So that helps dissipate the heat in the skin and alleviate any irritation. And but what if you're really, really concerned, <laughs> we could put some topicals right, on, you right? You can we do have, a topical. Because of the compounding right. center, we do have the topicals. Right, which is one. The other thing that's so nice about technology is that, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, maybe even three years ago, the lasers did not have the cryogen spray, which is what made the Gentle Lays Pro such a, a, a remarkable piece of equipment that you can't even hear the, the pre-fire. It's almost simultaneously that the cryogen sprays and the laser fires. Um, with that cryogen, no gobs of, of um, uh, numbing, you know, topical have to be applied first. But you really, I think the hardest part of that is the noise that it makes because they both rapidly fire so quickly and you say you're going to hear a loud um, burst. Um, but what you're actually hearing is what's causing you not to have 
to have minimal pain and not have uh, very much pain in the area. But headphones can help too. Yeah. Headphones right. can help, headphones. It, right, yeah. it is what people seem to respond to is the noise. Yeah. Right. So it's it more the noise than the pain threshold that's the problem. It's so. wonderful in sensitive areas. And so I know lasers have come a long way, as before you couldn't do a lot of different hair colors um, that were involved, but now since technology has brought us through, mm -hmm. we can just about go after every hair color. Just a, a, almost every hair color. I think we have issues with the very light blonde, but you're able to get into some of the reds now, which is great. So other than gray, which is just lacking too much, uh, pigment, melanin, they can't see that, but yeah, for the most part we can read reach the entire spectrum. And, and that's the beauty of the free consultation because Jen will take a look at your hair type um, and what color it is. She'll even zap a couple to see if, you know, um, do a small spot area to see if, if it's able to be seen by the laser. So don't write yourself off if, it, if you think you can't, um, if you've been told you can't. Obviously if it's all gray hair, we're you know just Our another tight. it's just another problem of the of the grays mm -hmm. um, but um, if you're if, if you the option here is to have a have Jen look at it and see so why not give them a call at Joe DiMatteo's Medicine Shop Compounding and Integrative Wellness Center.